Hey guys, today we're gonna to be going over my May TBR. I have a lot of books that I'm really excited about this month, but first I wanna give a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, Ana Luisa. I'm so excited to be working with Ana Luisa again. They are a high quality, affordable jewelry brand that specializes in unique, sustainable jewelry. They're currently running a special buy one, get one 40% off sale just in time for Mother's Day. So it's the perfect time to get a gift for a mom in your life or treat yourself to something special while also getting an amazing deal. Anna Luisa was so kind as to send me a couple of pieces to show you guys today, so I just wanted to go over those real fast. I wanted some pieces that really reflected the warmer weather we're currently getting, more springtimey pieces, and I was really excited because they had some really cute options on their website. So first I got this really cute little dainty floral bracelet. It's called the Rowena bracelet and it's got these little flowers and it's just this cute little gold chain. I love it. I think it'll go with so much. I really like the sort of flowery blouses and I think this just complements them so well. So I thought this was a really cute choice for spring. I also got, they kind of match actually, which I was really excited about, these cute little mother of pearl earrings. They're called the Ray earrings. They're this cute little floral shape and they have this mother of pearl inset. I think it just goes so well with most of my clothes and jewelry for springtime. So I think they're just so fun and happy and I love the way the right light reflects off of them. It just, it really adds to the springtime vibes. And then in honor of Mother's Day, my mom is a Virgo. So they have this really cute line of Zodiac necklaces and I got the one with the little Virgo symbol, which is like a woman's face and some like laurel leaves. I think it's so cute and subtle and pretty. I'm not like super into astrology, but I thought it was a really cute way to sort of honor my mom. And I just think it's adorable. So and I think it would make a really good gift either for your mom or again, if you want to wear something that reminds you of your mom, I think it's a really cute little necklace to wear. I just love all of these pieces. So thank you again to Anna Luisa for sending these to me and for running this sale. If you guys are interested in picking up a piece for yourself and your mom or a mom in your life or you are a mom and you're like, I deserve a treat, go ahead and click the link down in my description box below and look at all their fabulous pieces. So thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Now let's dive into the books I want to read in May. So a rollover from last month because I was a little too ambitious for April. We have Hunger of the Gods by John Gwynn. It's not quite the end of April when I'm filming this, so I actually have not read The Shadow of the Gods yet still, but I'm going to. I'm going to. That is like next up on my list. Hopefully picking this one up in April. I was able to get an arc of this like right before it came out and I just did not have time to read the first one and get to this one before its release date. But I would still love to do a review of this book for NetGalley and I've just heard such excellent things about this series. The first one received a lot of praise and literally everything I've heard about the sequel is that it's even better than the, the first one. So I am so intrigued. If you haven't heard about this series, I think it's called the the Blood Sworn. Yeah, it's inspired by sort of Norse mythology, I think, and like a more Nordic setting, Northern European specifically. It just looks so cool. It's multi POV. We follow like a couple warriors. There's also these literally like just gigantic monsters. They're like the gods of this realm that are starting to reawaken. The first cover has this gigantic dragon on it, which is so cool. And this one, as you can see, has a huge wolf and just like the sheer size. I love the little people they put on there for scope. I think it's so funny. I am really curious to see how these people take on these wolf gods and dragon god things. It seems really epic and I cannot wait to dive into this. Then we have the Buddy Read with Stephanie for the month, and I, we're picking up Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I read Pride and Prejudice for the first time a couple months ago and absolutely loved it. I knew I would because I've, I've loved the movie for so much of my life. I just knew I was going to love the book. So I want to delve into one that I haven't necessarily seen an adaptation of. I know one of this does exist. I believe it has Emma Thompson and Kate Winslet, but I haven't seen it. So I would love to watch it after I read the book and see how like that experience is. This one follows two sisters, Eleanor, who I believe is the eldest sister, and Mary Ann, the youngest. And I believe they sort of embody the sense versus sensibility 
of the title. I don't know a whole lot about it beyond that, other than that they have two kind of different dispositions and outlooks on love. I'm really curious to see how this story unfolds. I've loved Jane Austen's previous sort of writings about sisterhood, so I'm excited to delve into this one. And I'm really excited to read it with Stephanie, who I believe has also not read it. So this will be a fun buddy read experiencing a Jane Austen story for the first time together. So really excited for this one. Also, this is the Barnes and Noble um, sort of faux leather bound edition. It's got the yellow sprayed edges. It's just so sunshiny. It reminds me of spring. This is just, this is such a vibe. So I'm excited. And then sort of working on my Goodreads want to read backlist project. Next up on that list is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This has been on my radar for so long. I read The Night Circus, I believe, in 2019. It was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. It's definitely like just vibes, not so much the plot, but it's a very enchanting vibe. I really loved her writing. It was very sort of whimsical and mysterious and it really draws you in. I've been intrigued by this one. Ever since I heard about it, the concept sounds really cool. This young man named Zachary, I think, finds a book that seems to be like written about him and it like sets him off on this adventure. There's a lot of like symbols I see surrounding this book a lot. There's a key, I think there's bees. There's more I can't think of at the moment, but I just, I'm really excited to get into this one and see how sort of her writing evolved from the Night Circus to the Starless Sea. I have seen a lot of sort of mixed reviews about this one. You either love it or you hate it, but I think where I liked The Night Circus so much, I'm not too worried about not liking this one. So yeah, very much anticipating this read. I decided to do two books this month from this backlist project just to kind of get through it a little bit more. And I also thought the next book that was on this list would be a really perfect book for the month of May, and it is The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Mother's Day is in Maine. I figured like, oh, how appropriate. Britt Bennett wrote The Vanishing Half, which I read in 2020, I believe, when that came out. Is it 2020 or 2021? Oh no, I don't remember. I think it was 2020. Um, <laughs> and I really enjoyed that. I loved her writing. I loved sort of like the family saga nature of that story. And if I remember correctly, this is sort of similar. The blurb says it's a book about community and ambition, love and friendship, and living up to expectation in contemporary Black America. And we follow three different characters from high school into adulthood. And I really, I've been really enjoying those types of stories. So really excited to get into this one. I'm excited to read more from Britt Bennett. And yeah, again, I think it's good timing for Mother's Day, especially. Next up, we have the first book in a duology, and that is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I just learned that this is a spinoff from another series, but... I believe this can be read like without having to read that other series. I would like to jump into this. I feel like everyone on my Goodreads and TikTok is reading this and I want to be in on the hype. I believe this is like a fantasy romance or a fantasy story that has a really good romance in it and I love those. So I'm very intrigued by this one, even though I don't know a whole lot about it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so the blurb does say it's a stunning new adventure set in the kingdoms of the remnant. So it's set in the same world as its author's other books, but I don't believe they have much crossover. And we follow a formidable outlaw family that claims to be the first among nations. A son destined to lead, thrust suddenly into power, three fierce young women of Rattan, the queen's premier guard, a legendary street thief leading a mission determined to prove herself, and a dark secret that is the threat that is a threat to the entire continent. So yeah, it seems like a nice ensemble story. I have no idea if it's multi-POV, but I imagine that it is. And I've just been hearing really good things about it. So I picked this up used recently and I've been really itching to read it ever since I picked it up. So I figured May was the month to do that. Next up, we have The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. This is a really recent release as well, and I haven't heard a lot about it, but I was approved again for an arc that I just did not have time to read before it published, but I do still really want to read it and review it for NetGalley. I gotta improve that score, man. It's getting rough. But yeah, this seems really interesting, and I've heard it has several interesting magic systems as well. Like every, there's like four different groups of people, and their magic systems are each different, and it relates to like the god that they worship, which I think is so interesting. The blurb says, enter a world of bone and shadow magic, of vengeful gods and defiant chosen ones. 
this is the first in a trilogy and I'm just, I'm so, I think this is also the author's first adult fantasy book. I believe they've published some young adult ones. I haven't picked any of those up, but I am intrigued. So yeah, the four realms and different like magic systems revolve around life, death, light, and darkness. And they all converge on the city of dusk. But the gods have withdrawn their favor from the once thriving and vibrant metropolis, and without it, the realms are dying. I am intrigued. I thought this was going to be a duology. I didn't know it was a trilogy, so that's interesting. But hopefully it's good. And it wouldn't be springtime if I didn't sneak some romance into this TBR. So I'm planning on reading Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which comes out the third. So I don't have it yet, obviously, but I have been anticipating this book for so long. Emily Henry is easily like one of my favorite romance writers. I think she writes really well-rounded romance stories that aren't just all about the main romance, but each of the characters has their own thing that they're sort of overcoming. And I don't think that's easy to balance. So I think she does that really well. And I've been so deeply invested in both of her romance books that have already come out. And I'm really excited by this next one. We follow two characters that work in the book publishing industry. And I love reading books about book lovers. So um, this seems especially appropriate, especially where that is literally the title, Book Lovers. And yeah, I, I don't know much beyond that, but it's Emily Henry and I'm sure to love it. I think we have a little bit of like a grumpster thing happening as well. These two characters don't really seem to get along very well at first. I don't know if I'd go so far as to say that it is enemies to lovers, but I always love that sort of tension when characters have to overcome their initial sort of maybe negative first impressions of one another. I always think that's really fun and like watching that develop is one of my favorite things. So excited for this book. Pretty much gonna pick it up immediately and read it the day it comes out because I'm so excited for this one. And yeah, that wraps up my May TBR. I'm really excited about all of these. I think we got some good gems in here. So let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these, which ones do you think I should pick up first? Hype them up for me, please. And again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Please, please, please check out the link in my description box below to check out their buy one, get one 40% off sale. Literally an awesome sale. Their pieces are so high quality and elegant, and this is an awesome sale for them. So definitely re recommend checking that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and as always, have a lovely day. Bye.